Hey, welcome to the channel. We're starting a new play series, Front Mission First, the remake. It's on PC. And it is a turn-based strategy game with Mecha. So uh, it's right up my alley, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a remake of a game that came out, I believe, on the Super Nintendo system. So it's a relatively old game, but the remake of it's somewhat new. It came out on the Switch a couple years ago, and they recently released it on PC. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Huffman Island, Lieutenant. I'm Sergeant Glenn Duvall, your personal Wanzer trainer for today, sir. Just call me Royd. You're older than me. You've been in the service for longer than I have. All right, Lieutenant. I mean, Royd. I don't usually take part in training exercises like these, but the brass thinks you show great promise as a Wanzer pilot, so they asked me to train you. Thanks. Still, I wonder, I've never seen a lieutenant as young as you. How'd you do it? Just luck, I guess. I made it out alive from all the hot zones they keep sending me into. And now you're on Huffman, another potential hot zone. Personally, I'd say you have rotten luck. Depends on how you look at it, Sergeant. Okay, let's get started with the basics. I don't doubt you have great survival skills on the battlefield, but applying them to a Wanzer will require a lot of practice. No doubt. First, let's try moving your Wanzer. When you select a unit, its movement range is displayed as blue squares. Choose one of those squares with the cursor and press A. The selected unit will move to it. Select the end from the menu to confirm the, new, the unit's new position. Note that your movement range will vary depending on the type of terrain you're traversing. Terrain type information for the currently selected square is displayed in the upper left corner of the screen. Okay, so we can move around, it looks like. Dirt. Sand, desert, okay. Terrain can also offer varying degrees of cover. Cover will give you defensive bonuses under fire. Learn to capitalize on these points and you'll be halfway to winning the battle. Let's put theory into practice. Move your Wanzer to the green square. All right, we're gonna be using gamepad for this. I think I think it works better. It's what I'm used to on the, uh, the original the original PlayStation games that I played were uh, well, on the PS1. It was uh, Front Mission 3. I never played the originals. It's kind of weird for the controls. I might have to mess with it. Good. Moving your Wanzer shouldn't be a problem. Now let's cover basic Wanzer combat. Wanzers can be equipped with a weapon in each hand, and you can also mount weapons and shields on each shoulder. However, you can only use one of these weapons when you attack. There are also three attack types. Melee, short range, and long range. Let's have you actually attack something before explaining any further. Okay, so we got an enemy machine to fight against. There's your target. The option to attack will appear when a target is within range of your weapons. All targets in range will be designated by a red square. Select the square to target an enemy, then choose the weapon you want to use. When you're satisfied with your selections, select OK. Now try attacking the target with the weapons at your disposal. Alright, so we're going to move over here. I don't think we're in range, so I think we're just going to have to wait a turn. Okay, so we can punch or guard. Let's try guarding. So we took a little damage, but not as much as we would. Defensive maneuvers can be a great option when facing opponents with superior firepower. The less damage you take, the longer you'll be in the fight. Okay, so we're going to move. I want to get in behind him. And let's attack. And we could do our gun or our punch. I think for up close punch. There we go. So his arm's almost toast. Melee attacks are mainly used to focus damage on one location. If you have the proficiency level, you can even attack before they do. Now try attacking the target with a different weapon. All right, so let's 
I guess we can't back up, so we're gonna go with this. Yeah, so that toast him. Short range attacks are the bread and butter of Windsor combat. The number of attacks to perform and their damage differ by weapon type. Great work, but AI opponents aren't what you'll be facing on the battlefield. For your final training, you'll have to face me. By the way, there are repair items in your Wanzer backpack. Select Use Item from the menu to repair any Wanzer locations that have taken damage. Yeah, we need to use an item. So let's just use our item right here. And uh, body... Everything's kind of hurt, honestly. See, seven points there. It's pretty much the same as nine on the arms. Let's put it on our left arm. I think I'm going to heal up. Let's do our body now. All right, let's move. If I move over, hmm. If I move over here, can I still attack him? Okay, I can use an item, so we'll go ahead and repair again. And I want to do, I mean, the legs are bad, but I think that just hurts our move status. I don't want to lose a weapon. So he should get close enough to attack, yeah. Let's do our gun. All right, we're hurt pretty bad. All right, it's our turn. Let's go here. And if we punch him, maybe we have a chance of taking a weapon out. Ouch. Oh, a miss is not what we wanted. All right, let's go with, let's blast him. Thankfully he's missing. Okay, if we could take his arms off, that would be great. Let's just attack him again from here. Come on. Okay, one gun's down. Ooh, it's pretty close. Let's do a guard. Okay. I'm just gonna attack him again. Nice. All right, so he's toast. We won. All right, bonus experience. We're level two. They weren't kidding when they said you had talent. No wonder you made lieutenant so fast. Thanks. But I could tell you were holding back, Sergeant. Why? I'm sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. You see, I have a childhood friend who's now in the UCS Army, and he's about your age. A friend in the UCS? Yeah, we were both born and raised on Huffman before all this hate between the OCU and the UCS flared up. Those were good days. You felt like you were aiming a weapon at this friend, so you held back? I guess so. I hope there isn't another war on this island, Royd. Many people have friends and family on the other side. Oh, before I forget, I have orders from the command for you. You're being promoted to the rank of captain and are being appointed a leader of your own recon squad. Again, welcome to Huffman, Captain. Mission complete! So we got one kill. Okay, so what campaign do we want to do? We can do the UCS side. That's the second conflict. So we're going to go with the first conflict. And I guess, I mean, can we change the name? Can he become Mecha Drew? Oh, he can. Oh, but we can't do... We can't do... There you go. How about that? We'll just do Drew. Or not. Okay, we'll just do Roid. That's fine. Mission details 2100. Board a light submarine in the Huffman Island city of Minasa, Oceana. 0400, rendezvous at wave point th 30 clicks offshore of Fort Monas, UCS territory. Transfer to camouflage cargo ship and proceed to the landing point. 0430, commence covert reconnaissance operation of UCS manufacturing. Facilities in the Larkus district. 
In light of recent tensions between the two nations, you are prohibited from engaging in any hostile actions towards UCS units you may encounter. Okay, so we're not allowed to attack, it said. This is Rabbit 1. I've reached the recon point. How does it look? It's quiet. Too quiet, maybe. I don't see anyone. Be careful, Karen. Don't worry, Drew. I'll be fine. Lieutenant Mier is a capable soldier, Captain. I know you two are engaged, but you should not worry yourself so. Yes, I know. Thanks. Now clear comms. Apologies, Captain, but I have to wonder. Why go to all this trouble violating the treaty, even to recon this rundown factory? All I can say is this is part of someone's agenda, and I don't like it. This, this, this factory. What's wrong, Karen? I, I can't believe they, this, this isn't right. Karen, report. Uh-oh, we got enemy mechs. Enemy Wanzers, but how? We didn't pick them up earlier. We have to get Karen out of there. We're going in. You're right on time. Now let's see how well they've trained you. Yeah, we're doing this. Okay. All right. So I guess we get to st we're going to run in there real quick cuz we got to get in there to help Karen out. Yeah, she needs to get out of there. We got to we got to run. I'm surrounded. Oh wow. Well done. A new pilot's first reaction to incoming fire is to cover their eyes camera. Not the torso where the cockpit is. Alas, the valiant effort will be in vain. Well, so much for Karen. Karen, hang on! Drew, no! Stay back! I'm confused because... We're called Drew, but also Royd. I'm guessing maybe that is our pilot name is Drew. And our actual name is Royd. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. Karen! Karen! Yeah, she's toast. So are we supposed to fight all these guys? Because I feel like we're a little outnumbered here. I think we'll just... Uh, I think we'll park over here somewhere. Maybe we can draw him out. Bring him over there. What kind of weapons we got? I don't think we have a whole lot of great ones. So there's one. The way they run is kind of funny. Some of them uh, like slide and other ones kind of like hobble back and forth. Okay, you've got some of the best weapons, I think, of all of our team. We could probably go here. This will keep us out of punching range. And we can only hit him, huh? Okay, well. Whatever bone is. Oh, wait, is it missiles? Good miss. Alright, I guess we're gonna go fight this guy straight up. And what do you got? Uh, we have a rifle and a punch. So this is not the person I want to be doing this with. And I love that we've missed every shot so far. Wonderful uh, RNG. All right, what do you got? I wanna switch. Can we not go to someone else? Do I have to fight that one? I'm guessing our weapons are too close. Okay, so the missile launcher. It doesn't matter, we're not gonna hit anybody. All 
All right, we're gonna try with the rifle. Point blank, but... That took an arm. Yeah, I think we're kind of hosed here. You can't afford to miss so many shots. All right, well, we missed... They missed that one. Uh, do we want to guard? I think we want to guard. We got to pull that one back. All right. So we know you can tack over there. What if I back up? Did I hit anybody now? Just them. Okay. So all he's got is rockets. I have a gun. All right, well, at least we hit the legs. That's something. Yeah, this one, you really got to get out of here. Maybe we go over here. Yeah, we'll just wait. And we know we can attack you. With this, this is our missiles. It would be very helpful if the game would let me hit. I know we're not very uh, well trained, and this is like an intro. Uh, yeah, we'll use that. Alright, his arm's almost gone. Our body's damaged. Yeah, let's use our gun. Let's actually do some damage here. Alright, so he's gone. Nice shot there. We are still way outnumbered. I guess the guns don't have much range. I thought you could shoot from a distance, but... It doesn't... At least this one doesn't seem like it. Oh, we've almost got him. That stinks. Uh, let's see. Do you have health by chance? Do we have an item? We do. Let's do our body. And I'm gonna guess he can run out here, so we're gonna run. Let's see if we can finish him. Alright, another one down. Royd's doing all the killing. We'll just keep shooting him with that. We can't seem to punch very well. Okay, that hurt a lot. Might have to repair the legs. Or the arms. Alright, should we... Should I go ahead and go after him? Or should I heal? He's almost lost his legs. What if I shoot him? Okay, we lost an arm. That's not good. Alright, he's back in action. What can you do? We have the Ibis, and we have that... Let's see if we can... Nice miss from point blank. Alright, he's gotta... I gotta pull him back. Alright, we're gonna get you... Are you the missile unit? I think you are. I wish there was a way to see... Like, if I stood here, can I launch? No, I can't do anything. Can I get that close? Still can't do anything. What if I get point blank? Okay, so I can at least attack them. Alright, good. So they lost an arm. That takes away a lot of their weaponry. Thankfully, he's not really moving. I mean, I guess we'll just keep shooting. And we'll punch, because we can't seem to do anything with their gun. All right, good damage. Uh, I mean, I could, I could just keep attacking. I think I should. Okay, so he's he's out of commission now. So we're doing good there. What about my other guy? Okay, you've been kind of worthless. If I back up to here, can I still shoot you? No. So I have to be point blank. That seems no... It just seems so close. 
Do we punch or we... I mean, we do so much more damage with this. There you go. No legs for you. And we use our gun. Okay, so we have slowly but surely taken down the team. This should be enough now to cleanse this place with righteous fire. What? Captain, stand back! That's not good. June 3rd, 2090. The Lark Incident. The Unified Continental States publicly accused the Oceania Cooperative Union of sending Wanzers on a mission to destroy UCS military factories in the Larkas district of Huffman Island. The OCU responded by denying involvement. Diplomatic efforts for a peaceful resolution eventually failed and Huffman Island became the center stage for a war between the two superpowers. Thus began the second Huffman conflict. Do you think they could have had that go by a little faster? The Wanzer pilots who were present at the site of the Larkas incident were reclassified as MIA during exercises. Aside from a handful of top-level army officials, only these pilots have any knowledge of the actual events that occurred in Larkas. A year after the Larkas incident in the Baradin district of Huffman Island, OCU territory. Arena manager, you're up next. Get in, your Wanzer. I hear you. I know you're on a winning streak, but losing a couple here and there is better for business, you know. Drew Clive, we need to talk. Didn't you see the sign on the door? Authorized personnel only. Now get out. Hold on, who are you? Come on, it's your turn on the arena floor, Drew. Hurry up and get down there. Go on, I'll speak with you later. And now, the night's main event, hot on a 12-match winning streak, Drew, Hellspawn, Clive versus Jack. Crimson, Sutherland, let the games begin. Okay, so we're doing a one-on-one -on -one battle, and we're already into it. So I guess we don't even have to move, we just fight. See, I think a raptor is a missile. Punch, and then I think that's our gun. We can guard or give up. Maybe we should soften him up. Oh, or maybe he can soften us up. All right, that's not what I thought it was. So we go like this. Gotta love when they miss. Let's try the raptor again. There it is. Get him again. All right, victory. Congratulations, you've won the match. Nicely done. Glad I didn't go through all this trouble for nothing. My name is Olson. I'm in command of the Canyon Crows Mercenary Group, affiliated with the OCU Army. They're using mercs now? That's right. Just between you and me, the OCU is losing bad. The Army refuses to admit that it couldn't slug its way out of a wet paper bag. And so we need mercenaries, real soldiers, like you, Drew. So you've come to recruit me. You're fast on the draw. Yes, I want you to work with for me. I want you to lead the crows. I'm not going back to the army. Not even to avenge Karen's death? What would you know about that? Everything a man in my position has to do is homework. You were in Larkas at the time of the infamous incident when Karen was killed in action by UCS forces. You were unceremoniously discharged your records in your very existence deleted from OCU databanks. And you spent the last year drifting from one town to the next, earning your pay as an arena prize fighter in dumps like this. Come with me and you'll get a chance to find the man who killed Karen. That's the least you can do for her, don't you think? Where do I sign? Good, welcome to the Crows. There's a transport plane waiting for you at the airport that will take you to your first assignment. Visit my office in the military ward once you're ready. And take this thousand Huffman dollars to cover any Wanzer upgrades you might need. All right, Barrington. Okay, so we're finally past like the tutorial and we're kind of in the 
the actual meat of the game. Let's do a quick save. And I want to take a look at what we've got. We can set up our Wanzers here. So the only one we have is the Shrike. Which is different from what we had at the beginning. Now, I was a really big fan in the third game, um, which was on PlayStation 1. Uh, of the, I think it was the Zenith. I, I can't be sure. It has been so many years since i played one of these games. Um, but it was one of those ones that I really liked a lot. Let's see, body... So I'm guessing we can't really do anything to upgrade anything right now. But I like to use a combo. It was um, it was kind of like a brass knuckle and then a shotgun. And that was what my main character always used. And then I had machine guns and usually a missile unit for my, my rest of my team. So it doesn't look like we can do anything with what we have currently. We're going to have to buy some stuff. Uh, we can do the shop. What can I do for you today? Uh, we want to buy some stuff. Okay, so we've got the Siege and the... Is it Zeeker? So we have a rifle and a machine gun. 5x2, 1x10. I don't think that's either one a lot better than what we've got. I think we've got, what, a 4x6 kind of weapon. What else you got? Uh, body... We do have a Zenith. Is it, I think that's the one I always used to run with. I'm not positive. I wish there was a way to compare the bodies, though, versus what we have. My guess is we have uh, a better body than... than what they're offering, or at least comparable. I am going to buy some Repair S. What shoulders? Okay, so they all they have is a couple handguns. Which, I don't think either one of those is great, so... and they, Okay, and the range is very short to one. Which means I think we have to be like one square away to attack them. So, let's go look at what we got exactly. So, for weapons, my left hand... Uh, so we do 5x2. So we have each one of those. So neither one's great. You basically do about the same. Right hand. Yeah, I could go with both of those. I kind of like having a punching arm, though, and nothing in the shoulder. Parts. Okay, so... What are we actually in? Currently equipped is the Tendus. So we do have these other parts we can do. It does increase them quite a bit. More weight. I don't like that one. The Zora. But the Zenith is an increase too. So that gives us more HP and more defense, more power, but a lot more weight. That one gives us a little less of everything, but more power. So I have to buy that? Okay, and then what about the left arm? How much does it cost to buy all those parts? I mean, they're all an, an improvement over what we got. Ooh, and we get a Zenith Punch. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I like to... I like to look... All the same. Can we afford the legs? No, we can't afford the legs. So we're gonna have to run with these little... These little legs for now. And I don't know if there's anything we can... Af we can't af Well, we can afford it, but I don't know if I want to do it. I think I'll wait. And we don't have a backpack available. Okay, so we're... We're a little different looking now. Alright, so we want to go... I think we wanted to go talk to someone. I think I want to save real fast before we go. It's one of those kind of games where... You need to save. Alright, you're all set to go? No. Alright. <laughs> Let's, uh... What happens if we go to the arena? I want to see if we can fight one in here real quick. Yeah, let's take out the, uh, the Shrike Zenith. And who we want to fight? Someone weak. I think these are... Let's fight this guy. Yeah, we'll go low. We'll bet low. 
All right, so we've got a Zenith Punch, the Missiles, and the Raptor. I guess we'll go with the Raptor. Oh, he missed. All right, he didn't miss there. All right. Oh, I was hoping to take his arm off. All right, let's do it again. Okay, you have no weapons, so I think, I think we won. All right, you won the match. Cool, so did we get an extra 100? Because if we did, I'm going to go spend it. Did we get enough? I think we did. Oh, uh, we only have 244. So maybe we fight one more arena battle, and then we see if we can get it. That way we can start off with the Zenith that I like to run. So we'll go another arena battle. It's kind of luck, I think. Because it's, it's really dependent upon how much damage we do. I could try to go for a punch, but there's a good chance he might kill me. Uh, maybe we'll try it. Okay, good. We took some damage to the arm. Oh, my legs, though. All right. Not doing good here. We need to really... Okay, good. He lost an arm. That would be a missile. Or actually, you know, the Raptor has a better chance to kill. Okay, good. So we won. A little bit more experience. I'm just trying to get a little bit of money. So 298, much better. That should be enough to buy the last part I want. And we're looking for legs. That's kind of cool too. I think we'll go with these though. Oh, I gotta set a quantity. Okay, yep, I wanna buy that. Yep. Okay, so can I... Can I put my legs on? So all of them do pretty good, but I like I like that one. What does it cost money to put them on? Not enough funds. Why not? We have one. Or is it because we're doing it through the store? I may have to go to our shop because I did buy it. Okay, so let's do setup. I'm still kind of learning how to play this particular game. Okay, so we do the legs. There you go. So I guess if you do it through the shop, then you're buying it. And it's ignoring what you have in inventory. Alright, so... You know, kind of strong. Definitely could have better weapons. Alright, y'all set to go? Yes. Good, let's board the transport. Hope you don't get... Does he say seasick or airsick? I missed it. Captain Clive, it's good to see you again. Ryuji, what are you doing here? I decided to stay on Huffman after my discharge. I couldn't go back to Japan after what happened. Colonel Olsen found me and recruited me. I had no reason to say no, so here I am. I'm sorry to interrupt. Captain Clive, I'm glad you decided to join us. I'm Natalie Blakewood. I've been ordered to serve as your second in command. Welcome to the Canyon Crows. Are we all done with introductions? Yes, sir, except for the crows who aren't present, of course. They'll get their chance. Let's go. All right, so Ryu Ryuji has joined our squad. And so does Natalie. All right, so where are we going? Contracts at 1 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Screw that. We're surrounded. JJ, what are we going to do now? This is all your fault. I told you we shouldn't have gone out this far. What? You're the one who said you should find some easy kills for extra cash. We'll split it 50-50. 50% of zero is zero, man. Cut me some slack. My folks need the money. What for? Your funeral? Alright, I think we're dropping in. I should have painted my main character. Aha! Hooray for reinforcements! I told you we didn't have to worry. What's going on? Keith, is this your idea of a covert reconnaissance? 
walking up to the enemy to shake their hands? What can I say? They looked a bit lonely, so I thought we'd play with them a little bit. Is that supposed to be funny? Cut it out, you two. Now is not the time for this. Captain, we await your orders. There's only five of them? What are you waiting for? Advance! Okay, so who are we first? We're Royd. Okay, so we're going to... We got two over here. Is this an enemy? I think that's a good guy. I think all the colored ones are our team, so... We got three on this side as well, and... Anybody over here? Oh, we do have one over here. I think I'll let that guy go after them. Oh, and then there's one over here, too. I think... I think we'll stand right here. Ryuji, I want you to attack this guy, but I bet your weapons are not close enough. So I guess we'll go right here. And there is one right there, so we're going to go ahead and... What do we got? Uh, Siege or Zora Punch? Uh, Siege is pretty... It's a machine gun, 5x2. Or is that a shotgun? It's difficult to tell. Uh, oh, it's a machine gun. Okay. Let's try that. Ooh, good hits. And they grazed us, so that's not so bad. And... I'm guessing... Is that... That's our guy, so... We're gonna pull back. Yeah, we want to pull everybody back. We're gonna leave those guys over there. Make them come to us. Okay, so she's being ganged up on. Do we want a Zora Punch? It's only 8 damage. I think we go for the 10. Good miss. Good hits to the legs. Okay, so they're gonna... It's gonna take them a minute, I think, to attack. Or not. Ow. All right, JJ. Yeah, we want to attack. Yeah, attack him. And yeah, we'll do the machine gun. Ooh, nicely done. Yeah, we'll keep doing this one. She might need some help here in a second. I'm gonna have to bring um, Royd in. All right. But I can't really attack from my angle, can I? Can I... Yeah, I want to siege. Okay, lost his legs. Can she move? She can't get out of there, can she? What if we do... What if we do this? What kind of weapons you got? Good. We'll take it. Okay, good. He, he's almost gone. And what you got? Nothing. Can I... There's nothing I can... I can't get closer. I guess we go this way. Oh, I can hit them. Okay. Hit him with the rocket. Ooh, good hit. Okay, so meanwhile, way over here, we need you to take care of this guy quickly. Punch is nine. We'll go with the Zeger. Oh yeah, we're we're doing good work. I mean that hurts, but we gotta kind of have to tie him up a little. Okay, so I think the chafe they're just doing or chaff is just to uh, make it harder for us to hit him with missiles. All right, we want to. We could Zora punch. I think Siege is still the better weapon right now. She's doing okay. Okay, good. So that one's down. I gotta get her out of the way before the rest of the enemies get in there. Yeah, quit hitting my guy. They're going after my main guy. Come on, I got a new suit there. You gotta, you gotta chill with that. I think we're gonna just keep going, blasting them. Oh. You missed. Keep it the siege. Okay, we gotta get her out of there and healed. Alright, we can't do anything with Royd yet, so I think... 
I think we want to move her over here. And we'll do a repair. And I want to get I want to make sure we keep our arms. Okay, so he can move in here and we can do a big attack. Uh, Raptor or Zora? I think we'll do Raptor. There we go. Nice job, Keith. And I guess we're just going to turn around and fight you. We do 10 either way, so let's see if we can punch. Ah. Uh, punching would have been nice. Alright, now I kind of have to go over here. Let's see if we can attack. Ooh, okay, he's got to heal. I might, I might lose him. That's not good. Okay, we got to finish this guy off quickly. Please don't miss. Oh, come on. Keep blocking. Hit the arm, hit the arm. Okay, good. I don't mind the arm. We can handle the arm. Uh, Raptor. I think we go Raptor. Oh, we were one point away from killing him. Alright, he's getting healed the next opportunity. Should we go punch? I think I think we still shoot. Alright, well at least he lost his legs. Now we can punch him easier. Alright, first things first, we gotta use an item. And we're gonna go body, because we don't want to die. Alright, can we move? We can't move. We, our weapons are short-ranged. So I guess we just keep shooting you. Alright, you're done. So then I can heal with him next, and then I'll move him up to help the rest of the team. Natalie has seen better days. I think we're just gonna keep... Well, I mean, I can attack. Can't attack from there, so I guess we're just gonna leave her where she is. How about we... Let's, let's turn him around. And do we want to punch or shoot? Nice kill. Alright, we're turning the tide. I still don't want to really bring her too close. I think we'll just do an end. How's he doing? Okay, Keith's in great shape. So we're going to bring him around and uh, I think we can do a raptor. That one's a little stronger, it seems, but he's he's in full health. We're okay. And as long as I don't lose an arm. Okay, good. Complete miss. Alright, let's raptor him. Ooh, that was kind of nasty. Alright, but he's almost dead. This guy, though. Alright, do we want to heal? I feel like we should... Yeah, you know, the one thing I wish I could tell is what weapons was in what hand. I think it's my left arm I need more than anything. Alright, so he's he's able to move in now. We can start drawing some fire. And I think... Can we bring her in? Has she healed up at all? Don't lose the arm. Okay, good. We're still good. She's really not that hurt. Especially with this guy sitting right here, ready to attack. We might start punching them. Alright, JJ, how are we doing? Your torso is bad. But otherwise, you're okay. What if I... Can we move you? Not really. I guess we'll just go and attack. Do I punch or do I shoot? I have a better chance to hit with a punch. There it is. That's the way to do it. Ooh, we got an item. And 70... Okay, Zora Punch actually is better. Ooh, she took a bad hit, but she completely whiffed. Alright, so he's gonna go after him.
On his turn, we're going to heal. Alright, so Roy, you're doing alright. I think what we want to actually do is we want to switch to her. Yeah, and I want to move you out of harm's way temporarily. And we'll just end. And then he needs to attack. And I could do a raptor for 12. Although it's really low. I think we'll go with the punch. Oh, oh, almost down. All right, so we bring JJ in. And what do you got, JJ? Well, his punching's better, but... Uh, well, we'll try it. Oh, come on. He whiffed right on his face. All right. And I can't move you in, can I? Best I can do is run down here and help. With my rocket. Ooh, good hit. All right, can we... No, we needed to heal, didn't we? Because aren't we injured? Yeah, our, our body was toast. JJ probably could heal, too. Oh, but we got him. What? How? The OCU is never this good. We are now. Got another item. Oh, we got an arm. Okay. So do we salvage when he gets a kill, or is it just uh, lucky? Oh, good kill. Right in the body. Oh, and he's level two. Wonderful. All right, so we're gonna move you. Can we move you over here? I don't know if I'm in range for rockets. I don't think I am. But the whole team can move up now. Natalie, your arm is in bad shape. I think we wait for this guy and we'll get in here and I'll punch him. Oh, right in the face. Good miss. And then maybe JJ just moves in here and finishes him. Well, there's an arm. Let's do the punch. Miss. Good dodge. Oh, okay, so any kind of machine gun on this guy and he's in trouble. And I... Can I fire from here? Yeah, I can. I can miss, too. All right, you're fine. I think we're just going to move you up. There's really nothing for you to do over here. Same thing with you. We're just going to sit. But you... And shoot him. There it is. I think that was all of them. The air is clear of hostiles. Captain, let me formally introduce you to Keith Carabell and join us, Jurioska. Jurioska. Two more members of the Canyon Crows. Just make sure you never stand behind me and we'll get along fine, Captain. Captain. The Colonel has asked us to report to the military ward in New Milligan. The facilities there will also let us repair and resupply. Mission complete. All right. And I don't think we lost any actual parts. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.